Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. This is going to be for Aquarius for your August 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements. Uh, we are going to take a look and see what your life purpose is, okay? Uh, so yeah, so we're, we'll take a look and see what that is, and then we'll finish off the read with, uh, you know, to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on here, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post and when I go live. Um, also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, all right? So tell me about Aquarius. Aquarius is life purpose. Aquarius is life purpose here. What is Aquarius is life purpose? Aquarius is life purpose. Let's see. All right. We have counseling. You heal with kind words, wise, uh, wise advice, and empathetic ear. Okay, so some of you guys could be like therapists or something like that. A therapist, a life coach. Okay, um, you know, uh, you know, maybe even uh, you know a relationship or a marriage counselor or something like that. Yeah. Um, we on the bottom of the deck we have light in love your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world you know some of you guys might not even do this energetically some of you guys just d do this conventionally or that some of you guys are kind of like making that switch where or that you guys are merging both conventional and holistic you know therapy or something like that okay some of you guys might even work with crystals here too this is interesting you know, it, it, it's a huge broad range. So just apply this to your own unique situation. It could be counseling as, you know, a spiritual teacher, an energy worker. You know, you know, some of you guys could be doing chanting and stuff like that. You know, maybe chanting to Ch Chalisa, you know, maybe, you know, chanting, you know, prayer or something like that, you know, or, 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 you know, chanting, you know, you know, the mantra for Krishna, whatever that may be. But I do feel like there's an energy of sort of like leading here, you know, Sure, to like showing people the way, giving people the tools in order for them to heal. So we have Christ, we have counseling, light and love, crystal, spiritual teacher, and music here. So I feel like maybe you know the music, the crystal here, maybe that that plays a vital role in healing because you know sometimes the chant the chants can be very healing, you know. So let's see what else we have here for Aquarius. What else do we have here for Aquarius? What else do we have here for Aquarius for August 2023 when it comes to their life purpose for Aquarius? Okay, Ten of Pentacles here and the Star. Wow. You're doing it here. You know, if this is your business here, you're incredibly successful at what you do. I do feel like, you know, perhaps, you know, uh, it could be a situation that, you know, um, the work that you do uh, is being talked about or that you're somehow in the public eye here, um, Aquarius. Okay, with the Three of Swords here and the Empress, Libra, Taurus here, and the Two of Pentacles here and the Wheel of Fortune. So the Empress, Libra, Taurus here. You know, I do feel like people look up to you. You know, I do feel like you radiate some sort of healing energy. Like, you don't even have to do anything. Like, when people are in your presence, you know, People start unwinding. They start. They start kind of like this purification of like releasing things that are no longer serving them. That's lodged in their physi physiology here. Okay, we have the two of pentacles here and the wheel of fortune here. You know, whatever you're doing here, I feel like this is work that you were destined to do. Yeah, and I feel like you are doing it, Aquarius. I mean, you have the star card here. This is your energy showing up. You know, that's the energy of giving back to others. This is the energy of being service to others here. You know, that's the energy of someone here who's a light worker. The Ten of Pentacles here. We have the Tower, Aries Scorpio energy here with the uh, Star card here and the Page of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. 
you know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you help people unravel or uncover something that was really painful here, something that really rocked their life here, okay? And I feel like you might help people in re rebuilding that solid foundation for themselves here, okay? Uh, perhaps you guys work a lot with the inner child here too, the Three of Swords and the Moon, Cancer Pisces here, the Empress here, and the Ace of Cups. You guys are incredibly intuitive here. Some of you guys work on uncovering what's hidden here. So I do feel like it could be like shamanic work here too. Or that you guys move or heal through the vibration of music. Okay. And working with the crystals here too. Um, we have the uh, two of pentacles here and the five of pentacles. No, the, not the five. Three of pentacles here. The wheel of fortune here and the ten of swords. Wow. Some of you guys could be working with like spirits too from the other realms here too. Yeah, I, I, ju I just feel like this is your destiny here to heal, to be a service to others, to work together with others here too. You know, to break free of like fear, anxiety, stress, you know. Um, you know, I, I, you know, some of you guys do connect with the deceased here too or, 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 or with like, um, you know, or with, um, you know, spirits, like I said, from the other realms here. What else do we have here for Aquarius? What else do we have here for Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to look out for and work on here for August 2023? We have the Four of Wands here, the Ten of Cups here, the Two of Swords here, and the Five of Swords. I mean, this is, look at what you're creating for yourself here. Stability, happiness, emotional fulfillment. And I feel like you're creating this with other people around you here too. Just, I just feel like you're radiating healing energy like i said sometimes you don't even have to do anything you could be you, you could just be at dinner in a group like a, like like with a group of people and you could just be sitting there and you know people start unraveling start you know you know maybe breaking down you know the the healing starts when people just meet you you know what i mean so um we have the eight of pentacles here and the three of wands seven two plus five is seven swords here so this is an indication that you know you're also really protective of your energy here too you're always constant in constant like practicing self-preservation i wouldn't say preservation but practicing of shielding here because you guys could absorb a lot of energy here tell me the four of wands we have the ten of wands tell me the ten of cups and the full aries energy aquarius energy here some of you guys could work with the inner child here too. Yeah. Some of you guys could work with the inner child. Dealing with a lot of like, you know, you know, uh, stuff with, you know, abuse and stuff like that. Even sexual abuse. Yeah, maybe some of you guys specialize in that. Some of you guys specialize in working with the divine feminine energy. Sort of like healing of the uh, divine feminine or feminine energies here. You know, healing like, you know, wounds and stuff like that. Healing, you know kind of like stuff down there you know the two of swords here the death card scorpio energy here the seven of cups here and the five of swords you guys are definitely working with other uh, other uh you know other elements from other realms here yeah i mean you guys are incredibly intuitive here or that you guys are incredibly just really talented with the work that you do here. The Eight of Pentacles here and the Eight of Wands. The uh, Three of Wands here and the Six of Swords. Wow. You guys have a hard time grounding here too. Yeah. You guys spend a lot of time, uh, t time in other realms. It's important for you guys to ground yourself. Take like Eps Eps Epsom salt baths or something like that. Yeah, but whatever this is, this is going really well for you, um, Aquarius. So Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.